beautiful people. So today is surgery day. I'm so excited. It was a long night with this one. Um, but I have to be at the hospital soon and I've already done all my prep last night. Uh, I have my bag packed, ready to go. So I'm just trying to rest before I have to go because I've been fasting. I can't drink anything or eat anything. Uh, my arrival time to the hospital is at 10.45. And it's 9.40 right now. So I'm basically ready to go. Um, and I will update you guys once I'm at the hospital and then um, again when I come out of surgery. Um, Alright, so I'll talk to you guys soon. Alright guys, so I'm here in the hospital. Um, they did my IV in my hand. Sorry if that's uh, TMI. And I have um, they gave me my medications that I need prior to the surgery. They gave me Tylenol, um, Celebrex. I have a nausea patch behind my right ear. Um, what else do I have? And they gave me two shots of the heparin to prevent um, blood clots. So um, as soon as I walked in, uh, they immediately brought me to the back room where I got everything done. I had to do a urine for the pregnancy test. Um, and that was really it. So my doctor is still on another case. And uh, they said that she should be done in about an hour. So I'm just waiting around for them. They have a nice little TV here so I can watch TV. And that's it. I'll update you after I'm done. Hey guys, so I just wanted to give you another update. Um, I took two walks. My first walk was just one lap around and I came back. My second walk, I took two laps around and came back. Um, when I came back, I went to the restroom. I was fiddling in my bag and getting myself set up, plugging in my charger. I'm here by myself, so I'm just doing everything. Um, I don't mind being by myself. My other half, he's home with the kids. Um, so it's just more the added movement helps the gas move around. Um, gas pain does hurt I mean it's not unbearable um, but they do have me on pain meds for it and the more you walk the more the gas moves around so that becomes a lot better um, I'm a little in discomfort right now but like I said no biggie nothing that I can't handle um, they did do an endoscopy and my throat does hurt um, I've had an endoscopy done before and my throat didn't hurt. I guess they said that they use a larger tube for um, vertical sleep gastrectomy, so my throat does, it, it does hurt. It's pretty sore, um, so if I sound a little raspy, that's why. I have been able to get down a good amount of water. I'm not nauseous, nauseous but I do have the patch, as I said earlier. So, so far I drank, it's over 10 ounces because, I don't know if you can see this, but from here, 30, 28, 24, 20, so 30 to 20 is 10 ounces, but my water was filled all the way to the top. So I definitely drank more than 10 ounces of water. Um, the nurse was so nice, he was um, feeding me ice chips when I first came out from surgery and he would just ask me do you want another spoonful do you want another spoonful because I was you know too um, out of it to feed myself the ice chips so he was really sweet and he fed me the ice chips for a little bit um, right now I'm just watching TV it's I think nine o'clock at night let me 
check. It's 10 o'clock. Sorry about that. It's 10 o'clock. Um, I've been in and out of it, you know, trying to sleep, and then they give me meds, and probably gonna try and go back to sleep again, watch a little TV. Um, day one is to want to make sure I rest a lot. My spirometer right here, I actually went up to 2,000. So here's here's the mark, which is 1,500 that they want me to reach. I was actually a hairline past the 2,000 um, up here. So 2,250 probably, a little plus. Um, so I'm doing really well with the breathing so far overall doing really well with the surgery I can't complain um, thank God I, everything's going smoothly so I will update you probably in the morning see what happens um, I think that's when they'll give me like protein shakes and I'll see how I handle that so I will give you guys an update in the morning Good night. Hello guys, so I am being discharged finally. Um, I had my surgery yesterday, October 10th, stayed overnight, and it's now 2.45, I'm being discharged. I was able to keep down all of my liquids, water, um, protein shake, lemon ice, Italian ice jello everything sugar free of course um i think that was it oh and um chicken broth two things of chicken broth so i was able to keep everything down so because i was able to keep everything down um they're letting me go home they initially said when i first got here they're like oh yeah your minimum stays like two nights it's like i'm not ready for two nights i got two kids at home <laughs> but um thankfully my body um just didn't reject anything and I didn't get nauseous um, I do have a nausea patch still behind my right ear um, so I haven't felt the need to throw anything up I've been up and walking a lot um, I am still tired because I'm only sleeping in like 20 minute increments um, but I am just so excited to be able to go back home you have no idea I miss my bed I miss my house so I miss my kids, I miss the hubby, just want to go home. <laughs> There's no place like home. Um, so yeah, I'm just waiting for her to get the discharge paperwork and I am out of here. I am dressed and ready to go. I am still in my comfy clothes because um, I don't want to wear anything too tight because of the scars that I have, the incisions. Um, but yeah overall really good it went really really well and i cannot complain and i am so happy and i will see you guys next time thank you bye